back to another vlog. Diana and myself are going for a uh, a morning walk, a morning stroll, not a run. We went for a run along the beach yesterday and uh, on our first day out of quarantine we decided to go for a run along the beach. 5k run and my knees and shins are knackered. Or as Australians would say, bagged. I'm shouting because hopefully, I mean hopefully there's no wind but you never know with the old iPhone. I've been using a GoPro to try and get some nice morning shots and I forgot to format the card so I think I've lost all the footage which is a bit of a bummer or a bagger. Oh! Well, the weather is a bit overcast today but it's still going to be 35 degrees. Still 35 degrees. The water probably 32 here. Last time Dan was here she said that the sea was freezing cold when she came in the winter time. Honestly that water is like a loop it's like our bath back home. Same temperature as yeah, our bath back it home. Is. And that's that's no credit to our bath back home. That's not a credit to the sea. I don't know. Our bath back home does not get hot. It doesn't get you can't have a hot bath back in the UK. Unless at our house. Unless you get the kettle. We've been using the kettle to help make our baths warmer. But this water is honestly like our bath without the use of the kettle. You see the whale in there? What whale? Dark strip. This? Yeah, that's a whale. And you're a local? That is not a whale! Well, I'm Scottish. That's not a whale! In these type of uh, moments, I like to pretend, and there's no one around, I like to pretend I'm in like a TV show or a film, because I'm still a, a giant kid. <laughs> so at the moment, I'm pretending that we're on the TV show Lost. I'm trying to work out which character I'd be. I feel like I'd be a bit of a Charlie. Yeah. I think I'd be a Charlie, with the hair right now. And weirdly, Diane, because she's an Australian, she would be, what was her name? Ah, oh, so annoying me, what was her name? She has a baby called Ethan. No, Ethan's the bad guy. Spoiler alert. I mean, it's been, it's out in 2000s. So if you, if you don't like spoilers, then what are you doing? Kate? No, it wasn't Kate. Lindsay? No. Sally? No, it wasn't Sally. Did you ever watch Lost? Uh, yeah, we all watched it together, didn't we? Oh, we did, yeah, we did. We... I said I'd be like a Charlie. Oh, yeah. He was a drug addict, but <laughs> we ignore that part. But he, but other than that, I feel like I'd be, I'd be the Charlie. I'd be Charlie, what would I but, be? Well, I was saying, you'd be the Australian pregnant woman. Oh, my God, yeah, having a baby. Who, not, uh, not that Diane's pregnant. That's no... It's it's just, the Australian link is there, not the pregnant link. Don't get excited. Don't I shut don't up. Drink alcohol, all right? <laughs> but what was her name? It wasn't Kate. No. Sarah? No. Oh, I think... No, it wasn't a Sarah. But she was Australian. You went, Charlie. Jenny? Huh? Jenny? Yeah. No, it wasn't Jenny. Oh, you're still thinking of the name. Yeah. Jenny. Oh, I, I, I keep wanting to say Kate, but it wasn't Kate. Kate was in it, but it wasn't Kate. Okay. It began with a C, a C or a K. Kate. Kate. Carol. No. It was oh Claire! Oh my god, yeah, it's my baby name! Yeah! Charlie and Claire! Claire! Charlie, where's my baby? Say that. Charlie, where's my baby? I don't know, I better go and find it. Oh no, polar bear! <laughs> that is literally lost. I was saying before, if this beach existed in the UK, right, on a day, even like a day, day like today, this sort of temperature, it would be, you wouldn't be able to see heaving. any sand. It would be heaving! But Australia, they got they got too much. Too many like lovely natural sandy beaches. They need to share. Also, we left our flippy floppies. Oh my god, yeah. At the bottom thongs. of the stairs. Thongs. Sorry, thongs. We left our thongs at the bottom of the 
uh, staircase thing leading down to the beach. So if they're gone, I will be extremely surprised. I bought my swim shorts. Didn't bring a towel. The water's warmer than I thought it'd be. I've only been in the sea once so far and already it's clearing up my skin. Why don't you just... So I'm, I, how do I dunk my head without getting my whole body in? Well, you just get your hands and get some water like that and then put it on your face. Give right. yourself a um, sand facial. A, a sea bath. Yes, I did have McDonald's breakfast this morning. No, I did not order a happy meal. This is not mine. But when you're on a beach, even no matter how big the beach is, if you see any rubbish, just pick it up. Don't think that people are going to judge you for having a happy meal on a beach at seven in the morning, you know? Just pick it up. Pick up your rubbish. It's not hard and it makes the beaches look so much more prettier. As much as I like the design of the Happy Meal box, I don't like it lying on a beach. It's cardboard, so it's probably not the worst thing. It's still not good to have it on the beach, but it would over time probably disintegrate. But if that was a plastic bottle, oh, it'd be a different story. So you just want to go push him all the way in. That's better. Oh, 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 I like a shaggy dog. I'm like, actually, like, I've turned into like a shaggy dog. Look at me. Do I look really Aussie? Have you ever, it's ever felt, felt like this? this? <laughs> when strange <laughs> things happen, <laughs> are you going around the twist? Now have you heard? I can't see. Oh. Yes. Oh, that's a horrible feeling. Yeah, What's the plan, Dottie? We are currently on our way to get a coffee. Also, for um, on today's agenda, I found a photography shop um, near where Diane lives, and I got given this as a Christmas gift from Zoe and Alfie. It's an Olympus MJU2 uh, point and shoot old school camera, and I think my film is done. It says 24 photos, and I've taken 25. How does that work? I'm not too sure, but either way, I'm going to finish shooting it hopefully today and then maybe take it in see how much it costs to get this developed so i want to kind of do a test because this camera had to go through scanners at airports um the first airport they didn't put it through the scanner they managed to because they, they understand about like undeveloped film and stuff so they took it through separately um but in dubai they they didn't care they're like just put it through the machine shut up joe they didn't call me joe because they didn't know it was me but um, they said put it through the machine. So hopefully the film is all still good. I know it can get a bit funny under these big x-ray machines. So this should be fun to try and figure out whether this, what these photographs are gonna actually turn out like. So we'll do that, maybe buy some more film. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's about it really. Remember CDs? Includes tracks like Love Me Tender by Elvis Presley. Classic country, 1969 to 1971. Two discs! Now this is a bit of me, the electric 80s. This is where Elvis Presley lived. He's living there. How's that, Mark? That was good, thank good. you very much. I never realised just how famous the Buzzwells actually are out in these parts. Your name's everywhere. They're on like roads and stuff. Do you have your own statue? Is there a Buzzwell statue? Road, Buzzwell, street, Buzzwell. Foreshore. Foreshore, Buzzwell's grandstand. It, it, it's like, Buzzwell's just, the legacy lives on um, and on. The Queen of Australia. Yeah. yeah. Going. Oh, we're in Apple territory now. Don't go messing with the apples here. We're in. Oh, there's another one, look. Two more. Apples everywhere. That's Mr. Apple right there, look. <laughs> Mr. Apple. I'm sure he's holding apples yeah, too. He is, yeah. So I'm at uh, Diane's Nan's house. Nana's house. Um, I'm gonna, last time we were here, 
or is around Christmas time. I've not been sent, I've gone on my own will to go down to the bottom of the garden as far as I can to see how, um, see how far the land actually goes. But they did say, watch out for snakes because there's a lot of snakes down here. Um, I don't know why I was like, yeah, it's fine. Diane said, keep clapping because it scares them. But I don't know if a, a snake would actually be scared of me. But I have got my trusty Vans, high top Vans on. So you know, say I'm not scared of snakes, but I've never actually had an encounter with one that's not been at a zoo in, or in, like, somewhere where it's a safe environment. There's definitely one in there somewhere. Hmm. Be brave, Joe. Right, I found the creek. So that there is the creek. That's like a, that's actually like, you can see bulrushes. It means there's water there. Um, and the land goes a bit further. There should be a bridge around here somewhere. It's meant to be a bridge. I'm looking for a bridge. Still no snake bites yet. No snake encounters, but so far so good. Um, snakes apparently, Ugh. oh no, false alarm. Snakes apparently uh, like water. So there should be some near here, but I can't see a bridge anywhere. How fast do snakes move? Why am I making that noise? What's that gonna do? Is the bridge on the left or the right? I should have asked that question beforehand. Ooh. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, I'm so on edge. Oh my God, is that old snake skin? <gasps> I think I found old snake skin. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? What am I doing? Ah, uh, 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 uh. I've got it, I've got it. I think that's, it's not. It's a bit of old hose pipe. Uh, but, time to get out, I think. I was convinced that was snake skin. I got so excited. I want to come back being all brave, like, Look, I'm not scared. I brought back snake skin. Got a little friend though. Why are you rolling around the dirt for? My little uh, companion. Please don't rub against me. No, no, no. Uh, uh, you're all dirty. Aw. Are you my friend? Oh, she's off. What have you found? What have you seen? She has seen something. What have you seen? What was it? What did you, what, what did you see? Hey? What does it mean when cats rub, rub against you like this? Because this always happens to me. Any cat just loves rubbing against my legs. Is it because they're like really skinny and they look like scratching poles? Look at that, hold your hand out. Oh no, I'm not holding it. Why? It's an actual snake skin. Yeah, look at it. It's a tire. <laughs> That is not a snake skin, I Joey. thought it was, though. I was so scared. I was like... Oh. Nan, Joe <laughs> told me this was a snake skin, but it's a bit of a tire. <laughs> ah. We're on a row hunt. Our first route. Oh, there they are. Little roos. Slow down here, Doc. Where? Oh, there, oh, there they are. Oh, my God. Skippy. Going for it. There's so many of them. I think they're all the best at baits as well. Oh my god, there is. I swear that's they're what on what the actual road, right down there. The actual road that yeah. they're on. Yeah, Can we drive down here? Yeah. <gasps> there they are! Don't shoot, don't keep going, keep going. Oh god, look. Oh, jump on it's a road crossing. Oh go slower, go slower. Oh my goodness. That is special. This is Australia. <gasps> God, they really do jump over the fence easy, don't they? That was perfect sighting. So they don't feel left out. There's some cows. Wow. You're great too, you just don't hop like the kangaroos do. Okay, we've just had dinner. Quickest dinner ever. Quickest dinner ever because we're going to try. We think, because it's been so cloudy today and overcast, we think it could be a spectacular sunset. So we're actually going to race down to the beach now. Diane's got her quirky outfit on. I think she's expecting some cool photographs. I hope so. I haven't actually bought my good camera. Have you not? No, but what I have bought is a GoPro and Alfie's drone. I'm going to try. I'm scared to fly drones. Oh, I tried to fly nice. fly it. I tried to fly out earlier on and uh, I don't I don't know how to move the camera and stuff. I'm a bit ropey with it, but I'm gonna try again at the beach. So I feel like at the beach you've got more space. You know, you're not gonna hit into people or 
crash it into your, your, your girlfriend's nan's front porch. He's pissing! He's pissing! Oh my god. Gorgeous. I have missed this. Oh my goodness. Why can't life always be in golden hour? You're the only girl got a hold on me Take me by the hand, never let me leave All I wanna be is all you need There's so much more to see Could board a bus or a southbound train Find a little town no one knows our name We can turn around, come back again Anything to escape the rain Anything to escape the rain Honestly, I can't. What's more beautiful? The sunset? The Diane Buswell? I would eat without a doubt, darling. All in colours. I just love all the colours. Yeah. I'm going to put the phone down and enjoy it. Hopefully, enjoy the drone footage. Quite stressful. But hopefully, it was alright. My first flight, proper flight. And um, yeah, I'll learn some more skills. But right now, I'm going to enjoy this in the moment. We've been having, we've been enjoying the sunset, having the sunset chat. Um, today's topic is what was it you're saying? How do we know that the sun hasn't gone into the ocean? How do we know that the actual Earth is round? I know that it, when we see a picture of Earth, it's always round. Yeah, sphere. But who's, who says? Scientists. But, but how do they know you, that? Have you never looked, like, been in a plane and looked out the window and seen that the Earth has a very, very slight curvature on it? No. On a plane? What yes. are you talking about? Yes. Like, no. if you go, the higher up you go, you can see the curvature of the Earth. You can see it Shut like slightly up. rounded. No. Yes. So what? You so can. we're like of the Truman Show? No. Diane literally said, does the sun like go down to the sea? You think that sun that literally powers everything in the world is just that close, it can just dip into the sea. If the sun got close enough, even a fraction closer to the Earth, we wouldn't even be able to live. It will be frazzled. Really? Yes. Like a fraction? From radiate, we'd dead from radiation. Really? Yeah, but either way, good chat. <laughs> what do you want to learn about next week? Next sunset. Uh, next sunset, let's talk uh, about how many animals that are actually in the ocean that are not even found there. Do you think there is actually something down there? Like this is a this genuine dead set thing. Okay, let's start. Someone out there that is a little bit human, a little bit fish. Let's, let's start the chat early in the comments right now let me know your thoughts down below also like i'm being dead serious do you think that actually exists like that could my, be something that exists my brain's hurting now i'm so sleepy we're made for each other <laughs> <laughs> um shall we call it a day yeah let's go to sunset's bed. gone now but 